What's up, Scouts? Mr. Sloan here. Going to talk a little bit about this crazy thing. What? What is it? I don't know. No, I do know. It's called a compass. All right. We're going to talk about how compass works, parts of the compass, how to orient a map, and a few symbols on the map to help you better understand what, what, what's going on there. So first of all, how does this compass work? Well, you probably know that there is a magnetic north pole. All right, and in the middle of this compass is uh, uh, in the the housing here. There's liquid, all right, and then we have this needle that one half of it is magnetized. All right, so as long as we keep this compass flat, it sits on top of that liquid. It it just balances on there, and that needle that's magnetized which is typically going to be your red, the red half of it, um, is going to always point north. Again, you need to make sure that there's no metal around you or else it's going to throw it off since it's magnetized. So you can see the compass there. I'm talking about this needle right in the middle. All right, and the red part is going to be magnetized. So a couple other things to keep in mind when you're, when you're trying to use a compass. All right, one is this thing moves around, right? This is the, the, the housing, right? So it has numbers all around it. Basically, they go from zero to 360 because they're a perfect circle. So these are your degrees. You also have this direction to travel arrow at the top. Let me get, kind of get in here. See it right here? This guy has a nickname. Nickname is Fred. F R E D All right, so remember that. Then you have this orienting arrow that's right in the middle of the housing there. All right. And this red part here of the orient arrow has a nickname too. And that's called the shed. All right, so if I if I turn it up like this, you'll notice that it kind of looks like it's like an empty shed, right? The outline of a shed. Or a really tall, skinny shed. Maybe more like a Washington Monument or something. But we're going to call him the shed. This guy, Fred. Keep that in mind. So.